My name is Moles uh, Ojeno. When some people see me, they call me with uh, this uh, Nabagastel terms. Cytofloxacin. Some call me Nortloxacin, Erythromycin, ETC. Uh, some do believe that I had a PhD in English literature. Uh, from Cambridge University in England. So some people do are aware that I graduated with the highest honors from Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, then studied in Germany with a Fulbright scholarship and finally earned a master's degree from my own university in the United States of America. I remember the United States of America is one of the world's most powerful nations that diplomatically listed uh, Kibaki into a bit to share power Israel are due to a balance triggered by the dispute of the election. So, according to what is there in the Gazette headline about tax, Majata Bungela Wanainchi team felt devastated, exasperated, blustered, blurry, suddenly exhausted, and desperately tired. Paying tax, paying tax, paying tax. It is a lot of money to just an ordinary person. You walk towards certain area only to hunch the shoulders in an almost imperceptible gesture of disappointment, disillusion, or, or dis uh, disappointment. But this is the normal idea of President uh, William Brut. This is the leadership characteristic or peculiarity. Increasing the food stamp to the price of price of food stamp and forcing people to pay tax. And that is why I used to say that it's a repugnant, it is repulsive, obnoxious, horrendous lugubrious for just an ordinary person to pay tax. Mr. Ruto and this government, they should sit down and see how we can have a better life, how we can enjoy Joada Vibra kind of lifestyle. Joada Vibra means feeling of great happiness and enjoyment of life. So Kenyans have been having problems every now and then. And at this moment, if they are being forced to pay tax, and yet on the other way around, they want us also to pay more on NSSF and the NHIF. Then there is a, a, a bigger problem. It is gargantua for uh, Bradidas, a problem to come on Manaiti. You are stranded every now and then. You don't know what to do. Somebody said in American literature that where justice is denied, where poverty is enforced, where ignorance prevails, and where any one class is made to feel that society is in, a, in an organized a conspiracy to oppress or to rob people, neither persons nor property will be saved. This is not uh, their government. It is why they are ruling us like this. Utawala Mbaya. Utawala wa ufiduli, usodai, upeketemu. Utawala wa dhuluma, taragani na unyamu. Amba mkenya wa kawaida, anaona kama matapishi na kutumiwa kama kandara. Kandara ni daraja lambao. Kutumiwa kama bilula. Bilula ni kizipo cha chuma au shaba, cha bomba la maji ambacho kutumika kufungia na kufungulia maji. Utawala maya, diwa tutaki, Kwanza hapa katika bunge lili hili na mwananchi hapa Manyato. Kwa hivyo tunaomeleza rais Kinaga Ubaga kwa dhahiri waziwazi kwamba mambo ya tax mambo ya deduction yanaleta mtatizo kwa common mwananchi. It is so bad for us to pay tax and yet you are not working. Unaweza tamani kukula samaki wa gagazi na ugali wa kibunde. 
lakini hiyo pesa hakuna samaki wa gagazi ni samaki wa kuchoma wanachoma hapa karibu ndani wa kibude ndani wa mwao sasa ni hali ya kujikasa kisabuni kuna mwenyewe tu na dagawa chukuchuku labda na ugali dagawa chukuchuku kitu hiyo kilichoandaliwa haraka na labda chai ya kilingwi au chai ya chapo chai ambayo haina sukari au chai ya mkana chai ambayo kwa lugha ya unyenye lugha ya kimombo au lugha ya kiingereza tunasema strong tea na labda ugali na supu ya makongoro kongoro ni mkuu wa ngombe aliyechinjwa kule nyumbani kidubani tunasema orengenisti orengo au labda unaweza tamani kukula nyama ya msikita au nyama ya mtanda nyama iliyokaushwa kwa jua au kwa moto nyama iliyokatwa kama kamba kwa urefu na kuandikwa au kubanekwa kwa hivyo ombi letu kama bunge la mwananchi hapa Banyata ni kwamba tunataka tuishi katika hali njema na salama salimini bila kupei ama kulipa tax asante the budget of 2022 to 2023 kkr i think wali sanya 3.6 trillion in that year na rais ruto akiingia alisema he is planning to collect around 4.3 trillion in a year so that's automatically we were we were expecting this that people who are earning more will pay more he said when he was campaigning among the police and agendas people who are paying who are being paid less will be will be there will be a small reduction and uh, those who are not earning at least something we will also have their own way but uh, i think he has only implemented one people who pay more sasa sai wao anataka more kutoka 30 to 35% because they were only for 30 years then mimi na ni jambo mzuri because if we are being taxed equally i think hapa kenya tuko equal is only equity that we are working for but we want to get we, we cannot get the equality is only the equity that we can get so on bilangu kuu ni kwamba wenye wako na pesa wataxiwe wenye wataxiwa ili ili tupate pesa ya ya, ya kuendesha na uchumi kitu kingine nataka na kusema ni vizuri kwa rais nimeona imeandikwa kwa gazeti kwamba alipigia kiongozi wa upinzani kiongozi wa opposition simu ili asitize maandamano mimi naona kama ni jambo mzuri wape muda ili waongee ili wapate suluhu ambao hata wageni ambao wamekuja Kenya kutoka nchi zingine pia waone sisi ni watu pendamani si watu wa vita si watu wa pure classic ili ili walete maendeleo kwa nchi yetu ya Kenya pate vitu na jambo na tu inajio kwa kwa hiyo uchumi ambao imekuwa ngumu kwa kila mtu because uchumi hujui kama una support serikali ama wewe ni kwa upinzani Jambo lingine nataka kusema ni kwamba kwa wakati huu ambao uchumi ni ngumu sisi tunazidi kuombea wenye at least wanachukia wana wametoka hayo majukumu kwa wananchi ili waangalie mbinu ambao wa Kenya wenye hawawezi pata chakula wanaweza pata chakula wa wa Kenya wenye wanalala njaa wa Kenya wenye hawawezi lipa kodi ya nyumba wanaweza lipa kodi ya nyumba so jambo yenye mimi huwa naweza sema ni kwamba serikali angalie mbinu ambao anaweza fanya ili yao wananchi wenye wana, wanaishi maisha ya chini wapate mbinu ya kujistiri kwa maisha yao. Kitu nimebaki ya na, na, na yango ya ni ya mwisho ni kwamba naomba sisi wote kuwe na mali tupe wenye wanaongea muda tupate suluhu kwa jambo ambao wanaongea kama itakuwa na suluhu itakuwa nayo. Because atujui yenye itafanyika kesho ama kesho kutwa. Kaya ni hili si wote tuwezi haribu chenye chenzi tutupata kama mpapa zetu walituachia so tupe hao wa nafasi waendelee mbele na maongezi yao wanatupea suluhu na sisi kwa kupata suluhu kama suluhu ya kutubu tutafurahia bila kupigana kila kila after five years kila kila uchaguzi unapigana kila wakati na namba wapata suluhu ya kutubu kwa kila kitu kile uchaguzi hatutaki kuona tena kama watu wanapigana juu ya siasa juu ya nani ameshinda na nani ameshindwa ili kila mtu adhirike na matokeo ambayo itatoka kwa uchaguzi ambao zinakuja mbele naomba hayo machache ndio nikunayo